All right, welcome. Welcome. My name is Christy Laskovac, and I am going to share with you one of my favorite products and a lot of other products today, too. Um, this is all about our soups, stews, and chilies. So for those um, that were invited to join, I know our team is uh, on here, and our team has invited people to join us, too, so we're super excited to have you. Um, welcome to my kitchen counter. <laughs> so what I have here is... Um, a sweet potato soup. I've never had sweet potato soup, but this is the Pamper Chef Deluxe Cooking Blender. And when I say cooking blender, it's, it's literally, it cooks with heat. It doesn't just heat up with friction. So there are some high-end blenders on the market that require you to adjust the knob and adjust the, the um, uh, along the way just to get that heat built up so it can cook. This, I just added the ingredients and I turned the knob to the soup setting and I pushed the button and I walked away. It's funny, I will say though, when you first get the blender and you're first making things, you don't wanna walk away, you wanna just sit there and watch because it's pretty sweet, right? I'm gonna actually kind of change this up a little bit. If you could mute, that would be great because right now I put on speaker view and I see my beautiful friend Jody. <laughs> so I don't know if it's, um, on the recording, like Jody, your um, I don't know what usually speaker view will have the speaker showing. So I don't know. Technology. You know, I need like a technology person, right? Um, okay. We're gonna do this for right now. Maybe as more people join in, we'll kind of do that. I just want um, on the recording you guys to be able to see what's going on, on the counter. So the cooking blender. Our cooking blender does come with a cooking guide, just like all of our appliances do, which is nice. Lots of recipes in here. And you can also um, find recipes online, like to do in a blender. But the nice thing about this is this has eight different pre-settings. And when I say pre-settings, again, you don't have to sit there and adjust. You have a smoothie, right? Smoothie setting, which in my mind, before I had this blender, I'm like, that's what you use the blender for. Smoothies, milkshakes, occasional margarita, right? But this has a smoothie setting, an alternate milk setting, a grind setting. I make peanut butter in this all the time. Um, it has a heated wash cycle. So that's kind of beautiful when an appliance will clean itself after you use it. It's the best. It has a soup setting, which is what we use today, a heated puree, which we're gonna talk a little bit about that too, has a jam setting. I've got some fruit in there. I'm gonna be making some jam later. I know Jody made some jam this week or last week and a sauce setting. So this is a great tool, a great tool. So um, what we have here is the soup. And the nice thing about the, the guides is the guides will have, like there's a smoothie setting. It has a chart here that shows you all kinds of different smoothies that you can make. And then um, it has on the soup setting, on the puree setting, the same idea, where there's a chart that shows you the different things that you can make. So I'm gonna tell you what I added here, and I'm gonna show you some of the tools I used on the way. I'm gonna talk a minute about our enrichables. Now these are the smaller packets that we used to carry. Now they come in a bigger packet with a little scoop so you can add. The enrichables are not a meal replacement. They're just a way that you can make your own dishes more nutritious. And by that, you don't have to change up the recipes you're doing, right? So they have a kale and fiber. So if you have kids that maybe aren't um, big on, especially the green veggies, now this is green, it does have a color to it. Neither one of them have a texture or a taste to them at all. Even my pickiest eaters haven't been able to tell. I did just fess up to my 18 year old, but the brownies that he loves so much have kale and fiber in them. Every time I make brownies, a packet of this goes in there. They cannot tell. And on a brownie or a chocolate cake, something dark, they're not going to see the green. Now, here's the fun thing. If you've got little kids or nieces, Nicole, like I know you have your niece with you, you can put this in a fun regular muffin and call them Grinch muffins. They are green, but I thought that's a great idea. One of my friends in Texas, she does monster muffins with her two-year-old and he loves them and basically she's adding some kale and fiber so there's some nutrition but because there's really not flavor they love them right so this is a sweet potato soup there's nothing in this but veggies so i'm going to add a little pea protein now the pea protein is nice too because 
Both of these are completely vegan. They're non-GMO. They're a really healthy way to add vitamins and nutrients. Now, this has been beeping for a while because I wanted to have it done before we started, and it's still hot. I didn't mention, but this is a glass pitcher, and a glass pitcher is really unheard of with these high-end blenders, which I'm shocked if you're gonna spend, some of the blenders on the market are like $500 or more even. Um, this one is under that. This one retails for 350. As a host, you can get it for half price or even 60% off, which is really amazing. But um, this is a, a heated cap or a vented cap. So as the soup was cooking, the steam would be flowing through. And um, some of the soups, like the tomato basil, at the very end, you'll add the basil and just chop it up. I'm not going to cook with my um, enrichables necessarily, but I'm just going to add some pea protein. Because anytime you can add protein to your dishes, it's going to make them more filling, right? They're gonna, you're going to be more satisfied a little longer. This is a perfect thing to add to pancakes, muffins, things like that, because that's what kids love for breakfast, but it doesn't always fill them up for long, right? It'll fill them up initially, and then they kind of have that sugar crash. So that is a great thing to add to those um, sweet breakfast dishes, all right? And now all I'm going to do is just take and pulse this a little bit. Let me cancel that so it stops beeping at us. And then just the pulse, it's going to get that pea protein all mixed in, okay? If you, I don't know if you guys can see the steam. Okay, 10 seconds is about all we need, so I'm going to just stop it there. So let me show you what I did with this. And this beautiful thing about this um, blender, no matter what you're doing, you're pretty much going to add things in the order that it's listed. So with this, I added vegetable broth. You could, if you wanted to add a little bit more protein, you could totally add um, um, chicken broth, right? Or beef broth, broth even. If you have some leftover, it's about two and a half cups of broth that I started with. Then I just added a few twists of my salt because you want a little flavor in there with your salt. And then you just go across. And then I added sage. So sage, sage is one of those herbs. It's pretty much one leaf per stem. So I didn't necessarily have to use my herb stripper, um, but the herb stripper, I don't know if you guys have seen this. If you do cilantro, rosemary is good um, because they have all those little bitty things you can just take and line up according to the size of the stem. Kale, this one's great for kale. If you ever want to stem your herbs, you just take it in, stick this in and, and pull it across. Love it, dishwasher safe, easy to use, okay? I didn't have to use this because again, there's like one leaf, I only needed four leaves, um, so I just pulled them off and stuck them in. And then I added half of an onion, all right? Trick with the root end of the onion, anybody know that trick? If you're only using half the onion, keep that root end intact, because then it's not making you cry and making your refrigerator all stink up. And then I added garlic, and garlic, when I am not using my blender, of course I'm using my garlic press, I've got a few of these because I love them. I love fresh garlic. Anybody use fresh garlic? Put it in the chat if you're using fresh garlic when you use it. Or, okay, I see some hands and some, but with the blender, I don't press it in because the blender blends it up. Um, but I'm just gonna stick them in oh, our garlic peeler. And I'm just gonna rotate like this. It basically is unpeeling the garlic. So the peel just kind of comes right off, it just falls off. And actually there's a couple of these that had a little bit of a, a couple cloves in there, but you see how easy that was? Same is true for like caramel, little caramel squares, there's little plastic pieces, it takes forever to unpeel. You can use this for that as well. So I'm gonna save these for my, uh, my uh, next time I do one of these um, blender soups, which will probably be in a couple of days. <laughs> Tomato basil is one of our favorites, just letting you know. Um, now, how many of you, do you guys do soups all year round? Does anybody, are you guys regular soup makers or do you, can you put in the chat? Is anybody chatting it up? You kind of put in the, no, no chat. I think some people are at work. <laughs> no. Um, okay, so here's the thing. With the, um, the blender, I, we love soup. We tend to do soup a little more often. Um, I don't know why this is doing this. 
everybody's on mute even. I don't get it. Anyway, um, we love soup, but I never really made it that often because it seemed to take a while. Now, a lot of times it's easy. With this, this is about, this is about seven cups as I'm looking at it right here. So if you're in a big gathering, which I know we're not this year, but maybe someday we'll be able to, but heck, even when my family, my four boys are all home and they may have a, a girlfriend or one of them's married, you know, there's like 10 of us sometimes could be here for dinner. So um, our cast iron skillet or any stock pot, this is one I'm falling in love with way, way quicker than I thought I would really. Um, but it's beautiful and enameled. But you could take a batch, put it in a stove, or put it in your baker, um, your Dutch oven, have it simmering on the stove, be making another batch of this, because this is so quick. I did have it where it was about, I think it was about 11.30 that I pushed the start button. And it, it was beeping at me for about 10 minutes before you guys jumped on. So really about 20 minutes from hard sweet potatoes to this. All right, it was amazing. So that's an option as well. Um, so I talked about all the different things that went in, turned it on, um, don't have to sit there and monitor it. A couple of the tools that I use that I think are basics for every kitchen. This is our Easy Read measuring cup set. It's a set of four. They're easy read because you don't have to necessarily do squats or back bends to see like if you're up to the right line. There are measurements on the, the edges right here. So as you're pouring, it tells you exactly where you are when you're standing straight up, which is awesome. And then the non-skid um, surface to hold on to and the pour spout makes it great for adding things. I even use this to add my four cups of sweet potatoes, make sure I had enough. And so this four cups of sweet potatoes is roughly four or three, three medium size sweet potatoes at the store. And I used our serrated peeler to peel them. We do have a set of three peelers with different colored handles. There's like a, the typical vegetable peeler. There is um, the serrated peeler. And then there's a julienne peeler for those three, which is a nice set. Um, I love this one. You see the openings there, serrated on both sides and it swivels. So this is what I use for my carrots, my sweet potatoes, super sharp. So keep your fingers out of the way, but this is an awesome peeler and you can throw it in the dishwasher when you're done as well. Okay, any questions, comments, concerns? Okay, so this is our, this is our chef's knife. I'll probably talk more about knife um, skills and kind of uh, things tonight, but I love our forge cutlery. We also have a color coded um, knife set as well. Forge cutlery, you can, First of all, they're both good quality. Let me just start with that. But you can tell this is definitely a higher quality, the forged cutlery piece. Tip to tail, full tang handle. It's the same piece of um, steel that's all the way through that. You can see that. And it's a little bit more of a weighted handle. I love these knives. Picture yourself, if you're going to grab a knife and you're going to use the knife, how would, you, how would you grab it? I'll probably do the same example tonight. So if you come back. Color coded knives, yes, Connie. Yay, oh my gosh, Connie, and you get that knife block set. You're gonna have this one. So a lot of people will take a knife and they'll hold it like by the handle, which makes sense, because you don't wanna grab a knife by the blade. But what people don't realize, do you see that little emblem right there, that little PC emblem? If you take and put your thumb there and then wrap your hand around it like that, you could even, some people will do this with their finger. This gives you perfect control of your knife. And I'll tell you, sweet potatoes is one of those things. Those, those things are hard, right? I mean, they're, they're hard. A lot of um, slicers tell you to, you know, like, like slicing tools will say, put it in the microwave for a little bit, soften it up before you try to slice it because it's so, they're so hard. But it's, it's in it, and when you are slicing something hard, it could be easy to slip, right? So nice sharp knife, so uh, good controlled grip is gonna really help you as you're, con it was so easy to cut those um, sweet potatoes. So there's a little tip, okay, you got that? All right, so I'm gonna put this aside here because I don't wanna cut myself. Then I'm gonna talk about a couple of accessory pieces that, um, I know some of you, Carrie, I know you're working. I know you know, a lot of people are working from home now, so it's a little different, but even still, my husband's up in his office working from home now, and he'll come down and grab something and sometimes takes it back up 
to his office to, to eat while he's working. So this is actually um, a six, there, there's six different cups. One of mine is in the, probably in a boy's room somewhere. I don't know, I couldn't find my six cup today. So I'll have to go on a hunt. Um, but they're, they come, the set comes with six different silicone cups, okay? So these silicone cups, y'all, are microwave safe, dishwasher safe, refrigerator freezer safe, and the lids fit right on and secure as well. So the nice thing about this is when I have a nice soup, maybe um, there's just two of you at home. I'm close to empty nester. Jody, you're close to empty nester. We both have seniors, right? I do have a sophomore left as well. But I'm just going to take and I'm going to pour off this is our ladle that's a newer ladle that I love that you can pour off and get your soup in your cups and you can put these in the freezer. You can put them in the refrigerator too. The, um, the rack makes it nice because it keeps it stable. So you can have that flat spot in your, in your freezer or your uh, refrigerator where you can just pour it in, right? And then um, you can just take and you have like in this case, Paul can come down, grab a cup of soup, and bring it up to his office with him. If it is from the freezer, you will you will want to um, thaw it out. So maybe the night before, take it out of the freezer, put it in, um, put it on the counter, in the, or put it on the refrigerator, and then you can just heat it up in the microwave. Super easy. Or in this case, um, I know before people were all out of uh, working from home and they were actually going to the office. One of my friends said. Oh my gosh, I can just grab one of those in the morning from the freezer and she just keeps it on her desk. Um, and then it's thawed out enough where she can just put it in the microwave at the office to, to cook them up. So this is a nice set for that. Now, one of the settings is a heated puree. Okay, I mentioned that. And these soups, when you are making a soup um, in the blender, I think everybody's girls here. Girls, they're smooth. They're creamy. They're just this amazing soup. Now, there is a broccoli cheddar soup that I love, but somebody told me, this is like the Panera broccoli cheddar because it's really smooth and creamy. I kind of like a little chunk in my broccoli soup for sure, right? So um, what you can do, is take some extra broccoli, put it in our micro cooker and steam it up, and then just add it at the end, maybe one or two pulses if you just want it a little bit smaller, or if you want the chunky, you can add that in the end, okay? So that's, you saw how creamy and smooth this was. Now, the purees are a little different. Anybody know somebody with little kids, like babies, like babies that are just starting to eat? Like my sister has a one and a three-year-old. So those little girls, they like pouches. Do you know what pouches are? The, the little things that you get and you have, you know, it's really easy for them and it's really, I'm like, where are those when my boys were little, right? Um, but here's the thing, Camper Chef actually has like little pouches too. You can use for the little kids. There's other things you can use these for as well, but they're silicone and you can do a fun puree. I did a pear one one time from my sister, I used she and the girls were coming over and you can do all kinds of fruits. The nice thing about having the blender like this, when you're making your own peanut butter, when you're making your own soups, when you're making your own pouches, is you know exactly what is in them. So you're not having to read through a list of ingredients that you can't even pronounce or know where they come from, right? So that's the beauty of being able to make your own, um, your own pouches or soups and things like that, okay? Now, dropping I have a garlic club and now the lid. So that, let's just toss over to the sink. <laughs> okay, so have you guys heard of the, I guess I've not heard of them before this year, but the hot chocolate bombs, they're all the rage. Okay, so Jody, yes. Okay, so let me move this over because in essence, what the chocolate bombs are is they're chocolate balls filled with basically cocoa mix. You can put some M&Ms in there. You can put some marshmallows in there, right? And then you just take and boil up 
some milk. I guess you could use water, but milk would be much better. Hot chocolate, right? So you're basically heating up hot chocolate or hot milk or hot um, water. And then you take these cocoa bombs or hot chocolate bombs and you put them in that hot milk and water. And they kind of just immediately start melting. And then you stir it up. And I mean, they look good, the pictures. I haven't done them yet, but these little mini freezer cups, like, like the big ones, these are half cup, these are smaller. These are great for those that have little kids. You can make your own baby food, not just pouches, but even baby food. Y'all, look, do you saw how the sweet potatoes were? You could add different flavors. You could do different things. But these, this is a great way. Um, I, my sister-in-law made her own, my sister actually did too, made her own baby food. Um, but like I know, we went through a lot of baby food. Back when my kids, my youngest is 15, my oldest is almost 24. And we didn't, I mean, I, I, I would have probably had to spend all day. I never even, at that time, people weren't talking about making their own, but this makes it very, very easy to make your own baby food. But for those of us that do have older kids and not making baby food, these are perfect. And I'll have to post pictures and share pictures. I'm gonna do some um, hot chocolate bombs because my kids do love a good cup of hot chocolate. And basically you just take almond bark, you're gonna melt that down. You can melt that down in the microwave, we do have a silicone prep bowl set, which is great for melting chocolates or a micro cooker you can use as well. And then you're basically gonna put them, you're gonna fill these about half full, right? And then once it starts to set, you're gonna kind of make it more of like a cup and then you're gonna freeze it. And then you're gonna pop it out. You're gonna have to do that a couple of times because you're gonna to need to have a top and a bottom for your chocolate bomb, right? And then after you have these little cups all ready to go, then you put, and I can post this recipe too, but it's like cocoa mix and um, like a powdered um, milk that you're putting in with them. Um, seems like there's a little sugar and um, good for anyone having dental. Oh, yes, the, yes, the blender. I, I think it's what you, yeah, because that, that is a great way to kind of puree anything if you're having, and I, I tell you what, a lot of people, their kids are having like wisdom teeth out over this break. So yeah, that is perfect, Danielle. But basically you're gonna put the fillings in, the one cup, take the other half, and then you can just take some melted chocolate to seal them together, right? And that would even be kind of a fun little gift. I think my kids might have them in their stockings this year because I'm like, what a fun little thing, right? To be able to pass along. But that is a chocolate bomb or a hot chocolate bomb. There you go. Any questions? Any comments? Can't wait the only question that we've had so far is what size are the gray bowls you were putting the soup in? These are one cup. So these are one cup. And I kind of overfilled this one, so that's probably one that I or Paul will be eating from now. But they're one cup, and they do come with a lid, which is nice. And you can, this, this whole set here with six bowls and six lids and the rack, um, is $50 for all of it. And you can get a set of just four of the one cup bowls with lids. I think for, I just looked it up for 35, I think maybe. Or thir um, let me look. Yeah, 35. And that's a set of four of them. Okay, so. And then this, this little set, this little set here is 25. And that's for the half, half cups. Okay. So yes, so one cup and half cup. All right. Well, I hope that you found this informational. I oh, and here's one thing too. They how about slivered onions or silver onions, slivered almonds to put on top, so you can uh, any toppings you want. You could add a little um, sour cream even, you know, to have that little um, kind of a cool. Sometimes when you have a hot period soup, it's nice to have a little cool in there as well. Um, you can certainly check with your consultant about any of these products. Um, if there's anything that you want to, to get now, um, shipping is fast. It's not guaranteed for Christmas, but things are shipping pretty quick. I haven't looked today, but I know yesterday they were shipping or two days ago, they were shipping things that were received on the 12th. So I'm thinking you're pretty good shape to get things pretty quickly. And, um, 
you might consider even getting some friends together after the holidays to host your own party because January hosts can earn double free. We have the opportunity to help hosts earn double free in January. And there's even a bonus, um, a bonus gift when you do a party early in January. So reach out to your consultant about that as well. And, um, part of the host experience is you get half price items. You can get this at half price. There's also some 60% off items. And in, um, in January, it's our stainless steel nonstick. I'm going to be doing a cake in that tonight. Ooh, yep. Our cookware is oven safe as well. So I'm going to get a soup going in our quick cooker, which is actually in my um, pantry right now, um, which is unusual because usually all my appliances are sitting on the counter, but I need in the room. Um, and uh, so I'm going to be doing um, a different, uh, like basically it's going to be a wild rice soup, turkey and wild rice soup, but we happen to be using some pulled pork that we have. But this is a great soup that we're going to be talking about tonight that is um, good to do even to have ready to go on Christmas day, if you're gonna do something like that, or if you're gonna have a traditional turkey on Christmas day, here's a great recipe that you can do um, using that leftover turkey. So um, join us back tonight at 7.30, we'll go about 20, 30 minutes, um, but I, I do wanna show you this, this cake. Um, there's a lot of different options. The one I'm gonna show you tonight is called turtle fledge skillet cake. So it's gonna be a chocolate cake, and then it's gonna have this topping that's just, good on the cake or even by the spoon. <laughs> you know, maybe I do that where it's like, I'm just gonna, you know, my husband loves coconut cake. Anybody like coconut cake? I mean, the best thing about coconut cake is honestly that seven minute icing, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, now it does take a little minute because you're, you know, sitting, it's the only time I bring my, my um, actually my hand mixer out, but that hand mixer y'all is like 30, almost 32 years old because it was a wedding gift. Shut up, right? That's the only thing I use it for once, once a year, except my 15 year old now loves that cake too. So I guess I'll make it in December and February. You have to make that. But anyway, so join us back tonight. I'm going to do the turtle fudge skillet cake in the pan, and then you'll see a closer look of that pan in, um, in action. You can use it over the stove and in the oven. Now, I'm going to just do this one more time because every time I do speaker view, um, it shows somebody that's being very quiet and muted. So I'm not exactly sure why my computer is not recognizing that, which is totally fine. Um, I just know on the recording, I just, I think everybody will be able to see um, what's going on. But thanks for joining. Any questions? Sorry, I was late, Christy. I had a work call, but how did the soup turn out? I went back and looked at your posts. I haven't tasted it yet, but... Oh. Taste it. I want to know it's how nice. it is. I'm not going to eat in front of y'all. It, let me just tell you, it is still hot. Like, I should have poured it. You know, like, it. this this blender, y'all, um, I told you it cooks with heat, and it, it's hot heat. <laughs> it, it does get up to that 212 that, you know, I could I could show you. Um, we're, we're early. Um, I could show you. Let me let me quick add some water to this. I'm going to get the, the heated wash going here. But um, actually, I'm gonna pour. there's a little bit of soup left in here. And here's the deal. This is another tool. There's a lot of accessories that come with this the blender. There's a bag to make your alternate milks. There's an adapter if you're in high altitudes. There's a little brush. There is um, a tamper, which helps if you're doing like the grind setting for peanut butter and things. It helps you um, knock things down. Um, so it does come with a lot of accessories, but this little skinny scraper is perfect because it, it's so long. I don't know if y'all can see that. Like I can take and just scrape the very bottom and those blades just rotate and I can get every last bit out. So let me put a little water in here. And sometimes with the soups, you might want to kind of rinse off the edges a little bit. But with cleaning, with a heated wash cycle, you're just going to put a couple of cups of um, water, like two to three cups, no more than three. 
And then you're going to want to put just a couple of drops of soap. And my soap came out pretty quick because I didn't have it in my little small thing. And then you're just going to go around here to heat and wash and press that button. And literally in like two minutes, it, it's clean. It'll get a little loud. So we'll stop the recording here and, um, and sign off. But if y'all have any questions, like I said, reach out to your consultant. They'll be glad to help. And join us back here tonight at 730. You'll learn a different soup in the quick cooker. And we'll do that yummy cake. All right. Thanks for joining.